Well, our next set of highlights features four, team, four teams that are really intense. The Coronado Islanders versus the Santana Sultans. And a rematch of last year's championship game, Valley Center versus Madison. Caleb Norman is in studio with the details. Caleb? Thanks, Rebecca. Coronado and Santana were throwing fireworks at each other, while Valley Center and Madison slugged it out. Need I say more? Let's roll these highlights and see which team advances to the queue. Both teams get ready for an intense matchup while they stand around and wait. First quarter, Kyle Glazer throws a corner pass to Landon Lazoya. Touchdown, 7-0 the score, San Santana. Moments later in the second, Kyle Glazer rolls left and finds a wide open Garrett half, 21-0 the score. But team captain Hunter Corpus of Coronado wasn't going to let this game go scoreless in the half. Here he takes a 62-yard direct snap fake punt all the way to the end zone. 24 to 6 to score at half. Quarterback Austin Denson of Santana or Coronado was not going to let his team go home without any actions. Direct snap, finds the corner of the end zone. Minutes later, rolls left and finds his best man, Ryan Howerson, 24 19 to score in the third. Kyle Geyser, though, strikes back with a 33 yard screen pass to Spencer Love. Here he follows his blockers and races down the sideline for an easy score, 31 19. But lefty Austin Denson throws a corner fade to Hunter Corpus to put the score at 31-26. Kyle Glazer, though, throws a screen pass to London Zoya, who throws deep to Tyler Weiss, 38-26. That's the dagger. Santana wins in a shootout. Santana celebrates the nail biter, knowing they kept their heads cool. We just uh, knew that we had to keep our head in the game, and that as long as we bear down and kept our heads strong, that we'd be fine. Our next matchup features two dynamic passers in Ryan Kleiman and Chase Knox. First possession for Galley Center, Garrett Fielder took a three-yard TD run to put the score up 7-0 at the closing minutes first. Chase Knox strikes back, though, with his 38-yard strike to Delise Franklin, all knotted up at 7 at 10:42. A pair of field goals by Michael McNurry puts Valley Center up 13-7 at the close of the second. Both teams charge out of the second half, ready to battle each other for a chance to go to the queue. And it starts off with their first possession. Lee Walker takes a 92-yard punt return, races down the sideline, falls that good blocker, and coasts the end zone. 14-13, Madison's first lead of the game. But Michael McNary hits another field goal. Valley Center's playing it smart, 16-14. Madison strikes back, though. Chase knock, pump fake, 0-8. Oh, Cody Gearhart jumps in front of that ball, intercepts it, and follows his blockers all the way to the end zone. 23-14 Valley Center. Last desperation, a double reverse. Lee Walker, 73 yards, pushes his blocker up forward, races down the sideline to kick the same up, game up at 23-21. Madison tries an onside kick, but Cody Gearhart sure hands cover that ball up, and then Valley Center ends the game in victory formation. Valley Center is excited to get back to the queue for a fifth straight year. Oh, it's great. It's great. It's, it's great. I, I, I would, too bad we lost them last year, but we came back and we beat them this year. I mean, we got them. We got them finally. When you get to this point, I mean, it's like, you can't be stupid. You know, you, you got you to gotta be calculated, but you got to be aggressive. And uh, if you want something, you got to take it, you know? So that's what we talked about. You know, we were just going to take the game, you know, however we could get it, so. Neither Santana nor Colorado wanted to go home as the game went back and forth, while Vice Center got the revenge from last season's loss and eliminated Madison in a close one. Jose and Rebecca, back to you. Now, Caleb, you were down there on the field and you saw the emotions. When you saw the clock ticking down and you looked over at the coaches and the players, I mean, what was the emotion that just came upon them? You know, I actually talked to the players after the game and said, you know, this is a close one. You guys usually blow teams out. What was your, uh, your feeling like going into it? And they said, you know, you, we, we knew we could do it. We knew there was no freaking out. We knew we could put them away. And with a strong running game that they've had all season with Garrett Fuehrer, they put it away. They actually went for it on four down in the closing seconds. Thank you, Caleb. Must be no better feeling for the Jaguars than to send the Warhawks packing. Well, yeah, I mean, that was a heartbreaking loss last year. And to come right back this season and, you know, send them packing, I bet you it feels pretty oh, good. I bet it feels great. <laughs>